Hey guys, it's Matt with Matt's Natural Photos, and today I'm going to be talking about temperature and tint. Today, I went over to the main event arcade down the street from me and I was able to bring a model. His name is Harrison. You can find all of his socials here. I really wanted to do photography in an arcade kind of show off that abstract light feature that you can get sometimes you take pictures and how temp and temperature can affect them. The temperature of a photo determines how cool or warm your colors can be. Now, tint determines how much purple and green you're allowed to expose in your photo. Now, along with the temperature and tints of a photo, you also have to color grading. Color grading allows you to select different colors and add them to your highlights, your midtones, and your shadows to give a completely different artistic effect to your photograph. Each photo is different, and for each color, it's dependent on how you're feeling about the image. It's all about your artistic intent and how you want your to be blue. Sometimes you want a photo with lots of blues or greens, like if you're photographing a forest or rocks, for example, but maybe if you're photographing the sky, you want to show off a sunset, so you're going to go with more orange and red hues, maybe a few purples in there, but it's all about the overview of the tent. As an additional tool to help you create as much as possible and to get the most of your images, you also have a luminous tool. The luminous tool can be used to brighten and darken certain areas of the image. If you want to highlight only the shadows and bring the shadows of the image to show off more detail, it's completely fine. So luminous is for If you don't like the bright highlights that you have in the photo, whether you're photographing something in the snow or something that's super bright, you can always bring this down to get more contrast and color out of your image. To further demonstrate color grading, tints, and temperatures, I do have this unedited raw image here. For the sake of the video, I'm going to adjust all of the lighting using the auto setting. Now, for the first color edit, I'm going to change my temperature to blue because I like that hue a lot better than the warm color. Now following the hue, we do have the tint, which is again green and purple. For this image, I do like the purple just because I'm going for more of the dreamscape feel in the arcade. Finally, we can start the color grading process. I'm going to start here with the shadows. I chose a green shadow just to give that nice little limey feel. I don't want it overly saturated, so I'm just going to desaturate it just a tiny bit. And I am going to bring out the luminance just to bring out those highlights. For the midtones, I did decide to go for a darker hued blue just to help paint that picture of the arcade. You really want to feel the noises and everything in the background. And for the luminance, I did want to bump up the shadows just a tiny bit, so I did bring it up. Now for the highlights, I did wind up going with a very bright yellow just to help make my subject pop. And to help him stand out even further, I did also bump up my luminance. Now with all of these color grading edits done, I can now show you the final image. So I think that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Please make sure to like, comment, and share this video as much as possible. And a huge shout out to the first 25 people that followed me. You guys are legends.